Hiya, it's Jess here with another baby vlog. This is weeks 25 to 28. So today, which is Wednesday, um, I'm 29 weeks. So this vlog will run up to the end of 28 weeks. Um, so yeah, another few weeks in one. Um, as you remember from the last video, we have moved house. So I'm in my new kitchen. Um, we haven't got it all sorted out yet. We're kind of slowly getting there. Um, my office isn't done yet, so the kitchen is also kind of my office. So things are still a little bit, you know, all over the place, but we're we're getting settled in. Um, so yeah, I might as well carry on about you know what what we've been up to. So yeah, moving house is probably the biggest thing. Um, today we got our little Betty dog back. Uh, she's been with my nan for two months, so. We're really excited to have her back, um, but it's obviously a bit of a change for her change of location, so um, kind of making sure that she's getting into a routine as quickly as possible. Um, what we're going to do is this weekend is go through all of our baby stuff that we've bought so far. Uh, we've done it with the clothes, so I kind of made a list of how many we've got of each thing um, but we need to go through um, everything else tick it off um, so we know exactly what it is that we need to get left I don't think there's too many other things that we need to get actually um, so we've done pretty well in terms of um, getting through the, the list um, I've changed midwives obviously because I've, I've moved locations so I've changed midwives and changed doctor surgery. Um, I haven't actually met my new midwife yet because she was on holiday so another lady stood in for her. So I'll be meeting my midwife I think in two or th two weeks time. Um, I had my glucose tolerance test um, a week ago. So that's where you um, they test for gestational diabetes. So and that came back fine. Um, so I was really pleased with that. Um, I've also had the flu jab and the whooping cough um, vaccine. That was last week as well, um, and that was fine. I had um, my arms ached a little bit for like a day or two, but nothing kind of too major. Um, I'm still. Um, I'm two kilograms under my kind of weight that I was when I first kind of found out I was pregnant. So I haven't actually put on any weight. I'm still under because I lost it quite a bit in my first trimester and I haven't really um, put that much on. So, um, yeah, I'm still two kilograms underweight. Well, not underweight. I'm obviously not underweight, but I'm under the weight that I was um, pre-pregnancy. Um, so I've gone to like some like symptoms and things that I've been feeling. Um, back pain, yes, um, it kind of goes in, um, kind of spits starts really. Um, I suffer with a trapped nerve, so every so often that flares up and that kind of can cause a few problems. Um, but the birthing class that I've been going to, the Lazy Daisy classes, they've been really good um, exercises in there and they've kind of really been helping um with with my back pain so um so it's nothing it's nothing too major at the moment heartburn yeah it's like still got got heartburn um it can be at any time of the day now it used to just be in the evening but yeah it can be any time of day um so yeah that's that that's continued um and then baby movements so lo obviously loads of baby movements now stronger baby movements. I can also see them, you know, externally. Um, Phil's felt them a few times. Um, it's one of those things though, kind of I always get him to, when, when the baby's kind of moving around, I'll get him to feel and then nothing will happen. And then as soon as he takes his hand off, the baby will like kick or move. So um, he's felt it a couple of times, but um, not many. We need to make sure that we're kind of, that he's feeling it a bit more. Um, we've bought some um, nice little books obviously for the baby's room but we want to start reading some of them now so we need to start doing that reading little books to the baby. Um, nursery planning, uh, yeah we've been doing that so we've d 
decided on the colour um, and my dad is hopefully coming around at the weekend to do that because my dad runs a decorating business. So um, I'll do before and after videos and put them, well I'll do a video, I'll do a nursery tour video but I'll also do some before and after pictures um, to go on the blog. Um, so yeah, that's the nursery. I kind of really want to get, it's a bit strange really because I know the baby's not going to be staying in the nursery straight away. The baby's going to be sleeping with us. We're, we're, we've got one of the, uh, I think it's snooze pod or snuzz pod. It's one of those co-sleepers anyway. Um, that's what we're going to be using. So really, we don't. the baby room doesn't have to be kind of all set up, but I would like it to be really. I want it kind of done um, and dusted by the end of November. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, bras, really struggling with bras. Um, I struggle anyway because I am quite large chested, but trying to find maternity bras or nursing bras in bigger sizes is a nightmare. Um, yeah, there's some online, but it's kind of, I really needed some kind of straight away and didn't want to have to mess around with trying them on, having to send them back. But thankfully at the weekend I found a couple. So I've got two nursing bras and I've got one maternity bra. And I'll probably need to buy some more because I don't know how much they will change. But I just needed something like for now because I was getting so uncomfortable with the, the bras that I had. Um, so I'm pleased that I've got those sorted. Sorry, yawning. Um, tiredness. Uh, is a continuing symptom. Um, I do I do get really tired in the day now. Um, um, I struggle to get up in the morning, so I have kind of been laying in a little bit later, um, like kind of getting up at eight o'clock ish instead of like half seven. But I could really do with naps in the day. But I never have time, at the moment I just don't have time for naps, um, especially with, you know, running two businesses. Um, and because I'm going on maternity leave at the end of November, the clients that I do have are kind of wanting to fit loads of stuff in before I go and handovers and all that kind of stuff. So I haven't had a lot of opportunity. So I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. Once I've kind of wrapped up stuff is take a little bit of time for me. Um, which brings me on to a couple of other things. Having my highlights done on Friday, yay! I've been waiting for ages. As you can see, my roots are pretty bad. Um, so I'm looking forward to having my highlights freshened up. Um, I've also booked in my, um, I like to do Reiki crystal healing and chakra balancing. It's like a all in one like therapy with a lady called Angie Summers um, from Angie's Healing Sanctuary. Um, I'll put a link below to that. But she, um, every time I go to her, I just feel amazing afterwards. It's just like, it's almost like a, pressing a reset button on yourself. Um, so I've got that uh, next week. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll update you once I've been there. Um, sorry, looking at my list again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so in terms of symptoms, I haven't really had any any other ones. Um, I still don't think I look pregnant. I I do, def my belly is definitely bigger, but I, I don't think it's like a noticeable pregnant belly because I'm big anyway. It's kind of, you wouldn't like if you, well, I don't think so. If people kind of saw me, they wouldn't think, oh, she's pregnant. It's not as obvious as it would be, um, which is a little bit rubbish, but well, what can you do? Um, so, um, so yeah, being really good. Oh, we started writing the birth, birthing plan as well, which people have mixed opinions on it, saying kind of, you know, your birthing plan gets thrown out the window. But I did want to get some of my wishes down on paper because I have got some very kind of clear things that I would like Phil to try and follow um, when we're having the baby. Um, I'm quite a strong-minded person anyway, but obviously when I'm in labour, I don't know, you know, what I'm going to be like. So I think it's good for Phil to know exactly what my wishes are. And we've got like a little code word and stuff so that if I really do want to go down a completely different route, we've got a code word to say, 
you know, to change it up. So I know nothing's set in stone. And at the end of the day, I will do whatever is best for my baby and also myself. Um, I'll go through the birthing plan at another time. Um, but in general terms, it's like I want it to try and be as natural as possible. Um, but if people are interested in me going through um, the types of questions um, that we went through with the birthing plan, if that's something people are interested in, um, let me know um, in the comments and that's a video I can put together. Um, some other videos that I'll be putting together are what's in my hospital bag, uh, but I'll probably that won't be until December because that's probably around about when I'll do that. I'm also doing my freezer meals um, in December, so I'll perhaps film me doing some of preparing some of those and going through what types of things that that I'm making. Obviously, I'm vegetarian, so my meals need to be vegetarian. But Phil does eat meat dishes, so there'll be a mixture of both um, on there. Um, yeah, so really, that's kind of that's kind of it. Um, I've kind of, uh, the baby shower, my friend Keely has been helping me arrange my baby shower, so I'm really excited about that. So I'll definitely get some videos of the baby shower and some photos. Um, we're doing like a Beatrix Potter theme, afternoon tea type thing. So um, that will be a video that will be coming up at the end of November, which is when my baby shower is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do more regular videos now because it's kind of, um, each week now is kind of progresses even more um, whereas before it was kind of like we, three weeks would generally kind of be the same so I'll try and do them more regularly and obviously because we're kind of a bit more settled now in our own house so I'll definitely try and do the vlogs um, a bit more regularly um, but yeah so that's it so thanks for watching uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to keep watching videos um, I'll be doing them throughout the pregnancy and I'll also be carrying them on um, once I've had um, the baby and kind of you know general things like you know day in the life of a mum with a newborn and balancing the home life and running a business and having a baby and all those kind of things so if that's stuff that you're kind of interested in um, then yeah make sure you subscribe thanks